Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. First, let's start creating our composition. I'm going to name it Kinetic Type 18, going to make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration and just press OK. Cool. Now let's select our type tool and write something. Then let's right click over the timeline and select new shape layer. This will create an empty shape layer, which can sound odd, but it is what we need. Let's drag the shape layer under our text layer. Then let's open the shape layer properties and find content. And here, let's click on the little play button to add a rectangle. Again, this will add an empty rectangle, only because we don't have any fill or strokes applied to this shape. So let's do that. Don't worry about the colors now, we will change them later. Cool. Now a very vital part starts. We will write the small expression on the size property of our shape layer. This expression will adjust the size of the shape layer using the text length as a reference. And the best part is, it will be dynamic, so the shape layer will adjust whenever we change the text. Just like magic. So let's do it. Let's start by creating a variable for our text. var my text equals and using the pick whip tool let's select our text layer then another variable var my rect equals my text period source rect at time open parenthesis time comma false close parenthesis and semicolon this line looks at our text layer and sees how big it is right now Another variable, var my width, equals my rect period with semicolon. This line will check how wide our text is. Another one, var my height, equals my rect period height semicolon. And this line will check how tall the text is. And the last one, open brackets, my width plus 25, comma, my height plus 25. This line makes the shape layer a little bit bigger, so the text have a little bit more room to breathe. And great, that's it. As you can see, it's working. So let's change the rectangle fill and stroke color to something different. And let's mark a keyframe on the fill color, because we will animate this color change when our text changes to make a really nice visual motion. But more of that later. Let's minimize this layer, and let's change the text color to something different. Nice. Now, let's open the text layer properties and find the source text and let's mark a keyframe on it. Then, let's move our timeline needle to 2 seconds, double click over our text layer and change the word. And let's do this in 2 second increments, making some text variations. And then the last word, let's make it the same as the first one, to make it loop. Cool, now let's change the color of the shape layer when the text changes. Select the shape layer and press U. And this will show you all the properties with keyframes. That's why you marked that one a minute ago. Now press K to jump to the next keyframe and change the color. Again, press K to jump to the next keyframe and change the color again. And again and again. Just be sure that the last color is the same color as the one we started with. And great, select the color keyframes and open the graph editor to adjust the color transition a bit. Make the keyframes easy and ease, then push the bezier's a little bit out. We need this to ensure the shapes stay in their initial color a little bit longer. Cool, now close the graph editor and we are practically done here. Now select both the text and the shape layer and right click and choose Precompose. Give a name to your precomp and select Open New Composition. For this step, we will need to find the largest word in our text layer and then, using the Region of Interest tool, make a selection around it. Then go to the top menu, Composition and select Crop Comp to Region of Interest cropping our composition to just enough area for our text to play. Great, let's return to our main composition. But before we start animating our text, let's right click and create a new solid for the background. I will make it light grey and move it to the bottom of the layer stack and lock it so we don't move it by mistake. Now let's animate our text comp. I will use the title and action safe zones for have some reference for position and margins, but you can just do this freely. So with our pre comp selected, Press P to open the position properties and mark a keyframe and move it to the initial position where you want the animation to start. Then move the timeline needle to 2 seconds and move the text to the next position. Then 4 seconds, another position, 6 seconds, 
8 seconds. And on the 10 seconds we can just copy and paste the first keyframe. So it goes back to where it started. Cool, give it a little preview and yeah, it's working. We need some animation curves to be adjusted, but this thing is moving. But again, before we start doing that, let's adjust the spatial interpolation of the keyframes. With our comp selected, we can go to the top toolbar and find the Convert Vertex tool, which we can use to change how our motion moves. We just need to have it selected and click over our keyframes. Now we can easily adjust how this moves. Fun, right? So let's do it quickly. And when we are done, we can just adjust the speed of our animation. Select the keyframes and go to the graph editor and make them easy and ease and adjust them here. And this is practically it. The last thing we need to do is to add an effect to create that trail visual. So with our layer selected, let's go to effects, time and select echo. Let's increase the number of echoes to 32 and the echo operator to be composite in front. And if we give it a little preview, nothing happens. <laughs> and the reason is that we need to activate the layer collapse checkbox. Now give it another preview. And yeah, that's it. You probably will need to make some adjustment in the positions, but you can do that on your own time. So for now, let's just watch this for a few seconds and just enjoy what you created. I really hope you liked it, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to see my other kinetic type tutorials, remember to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.